dealerships like Amazon, like like Walmart, when you go and you can't haggle on new bikes, typically, especially if it's brand new and it's a pre-order, they're not taking anything off. Rightfully so, because that's just how supply and demand works. I mean, but if you just want a good quality bike that's that runs well is, and ha- is at its true value, has had that depreciation hit and is the best financial experience and riding experience, then getting a used bike is to- totally better. Because that's what makes sense for you as a, as a rider. You want, it's, yeah, just makes more sense. Here's my, here's my advice to people, and it's not applicable to everybody. This is what I, I mean, let's, let's, re, I'm going to reframe that just to kind of be in the space where I think it's going to be ideal for people. If you're just starting out, you don't have money, get a used don't bike. Get a new bike. Actually, you know what? Don't I mean, even buy a, a fucking used bike. bike. Don't even buy a bike. If you're not in a good space, it's almost like dating chicks, right? If you can avoid it. If you yeah. ain't got no money and you can't go out on a date where you could be impressive, just listen, man. Get your stuff together first. The other thing is maybe get a used bike. How I like to buy a bike, me bike. personally, how, how I like to buy a bike, me personally, and I, it doesn't apply to everyone. and one's very different. Order the bike, do half. First off, you need to know that you can actually have the bike, right? Order the bike, do half. When are you going to deliver your bike? Do the other half. Wash your hands dry. You're done. You have your bike. But then again, that's yeah. a very specific situation. Not everybody's in that boat, right? Um, some people do. They just buy the bike outright. I like to do a partial. In case I change my mind, if I want to get something else, I could probably do that or back out, whatever, which I, I rarely would I back out on anything because if there's a bike that I like that I know I want, I, I just know I want the bike. It's going to be that. But um, that's one really good way. If not, if you're going to do the... The financing way, man, make sure your score is like 850. And make sure you're riding smart so you don't bend the bike before you finish paying it off. Yeah. If your score is 850, do zero. Do your zero interest. And don't, don't do the balloon payment because some people do some dumb shit like that too. They're like, all right, I'll just do a small payment. And then within the time frame, you need to do like 20 grand. Most people yeah. are excited in the first three months they do that. Those are bad idea, guys. So um, do the zero and then just kind of crunch down on like the AP, the uh, the the principal hardcore before the time, mm-hmm. and then finish it off. As in the beginning, when you're excited, the bike is brand new. You're like, yeah, whatever. I'm just paying like three hundred bucks a month, and then after the first year, you're not as hyped about it. You love the bike. You're used to it, and then now it's like becoming a burden. It's like a fuck, three hundred bucks, and I have to pay my insurance. And then it's becoming like a burden. And then you just sign a contract for it. And by the way, when you sign your contract, just if it's for, you know, four years or three years or whatever, just just hit the principal like double and then pay it off way ahead. So it's not a problem. But so you don't get that fatigue early. This is you don't have to take any of this advice. It's just me talking shit. It's not it's not that important really. Um I think I got a little personal there.